Hello all my girl gays and theys. My name is Ricky Ricardo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know I look a little crazy right now. Don't zoom in too close. Back up, back, 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 give me 50 feet. I have half of my face shaved and the other half is unshaved. Why? Because I'm gonna show you how I feminize my face. And when I say feminize my face, I mean to make my own face look softer, more delicate, more feline. Uh, disclosure, femininity is a spectrum. No, this is not the only way how to do femininity. There's no way how to do femininity. Femininity is what you describe it as, but this is how I describe it as. You don't have to follow me. You don't have to do the same thing. This is just how I do it. But if you like it, go ahead and follow. We're going to break down some products. We're going to talk some good talk. We're going to have a good time as always. So let's go. But before I go, do you like this face? Well, you should subscribe. It's a good time over here. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. So how I start with feminizing my face is to make everything look lifted. As you can see right now, my face goes kind of down and out. Down and out is not the way I wanna go because I wanna look like this and not that. You see that? So I'm gonna block part of my eyebrow out, just the ends with the good old trusty Elmer's glue, and then we're gonna create a whole new arch to it. So I like putting the glue stick in the way that the eyebrows grow first and then go back against the grain. This way that the glue is all throughout my eyebrow and there is no gaps in between. So everything's gonna lay really smooth and really nicely. And I'm just taking the spoolie on any brush or you can just take a disposable spoolie. So I like to go up. I like to go up first. Because again, we want everything to lay down. We go up. And then I like to take something flat. I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm gonna lay it down even, even smoother. Okay, so I let that dry down for like a minute and then I go right back and do it all again. So now I'm on my last pass. While that glue is still a little bit of goopy, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna take a little on a powder puff and I'm gonna press that goop in. This is what's gonna make it stay and it's gonna hold everything so I can create a new brow on top of that. So now I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush to wipe that off with. I am gonna take the Morphe and Makeup by Ario brush. This is the brush A21. <laughs> What is going on today? And now I'm just gonna take a Neutrogena wipe to wipe up these edges so everything could be pristine and I can lay stuff on top of it. So we clean it up pretty well. I like to go in just one more pass just to make sure everything is really, really dry and really secure. I'm gonna press once again and we're gonna wipe it off one more time. Okay, so we're looking good. We got half of the brow that is blocked off and the other half is just my regular natural brows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new arch for my eyebrow with this Benefit Brow Pencil. It's my favorite. It's the Precisely My Brow in the shade four. I'm gonna go more up and out, create more of an high arch so my face can look more lifted. And I'm going right on top of where we put that powder at. Yes, it is going to feel weird. And yes, it may look weird, but the end result will be so cute. See how that looks? Look at that, amazing. You can definitely see where my normal brow stops and where the new brow stops too. Does my face look more lifted? No, okay. You'll see it, you'll see it. But while we're here, we're gonna fill in the rest of that brow. When I fill in brows in general, I don't like to put much product right here because it, I think it looks more natural that way. So there's kind of like an ombre because the brow is gonna be more thin around the front. I just flick it up. And if I feel like it's too much product there, I take that spoolie on the other side and I diffuse it. Everything is soft today on this side, this side. We're a little rough on this side, it's okay. It's a time and a place for roughness. I feel like this is a good template for brows and I know you may be like, this is looking crazy and I agree, but I have the vision. I have the vision and the vision is gonna work. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna take this MAC concealer palette. It's in the shade dark and I'm gonna use the lightest color, which is this color. We're gonna carve out underneath the new brow to phase out the old brow. And I'm gonna carve out my new brow with the Morphe V30 brush. And the reason I like to use creams because cream is a thicker consistency than liquid. And that means it's gonna cover a little better. And then I'm gonna take it to my real brow too so everything can marry. Again, I don't put much product right here of the lighter color because I want that diffusion.
And I'm going to blend that out with this brush from the BH Cosmetics and Doja Cat collection. So I'm going to pat it in. I'm not swiping because I want to keep most of the pigment there. I'm going to pat it in. Then a trick I like to do is I like to blend some of that concealer upwards to the front of the brow because this makes it look a little more natural too. So you can see, look at this brow and then look at this brow. You see how this brow goes more down and this one is more lifted and it goes more up. Love that. Next, we're gonna do eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I always like to do whenever I'm doing a more feminine look or I wanna look more feminized, I do something that is lifted too. Again, we wanna look lifted. We wanna look more of this. You see that? I mean, not like that, but like. <laughs> First, I'm gonna take my ABH eye primer. Love this eye primer. I use it for all my looks. And I'm gonna take a dense brush to blend that out with. So first we're gonna dig into this Juvia's Place palette. It's called The Coffee Shop. We're gonna use this shade right here just as a transition shade to blend out those edges. And I'm taking my Morphe M504 brush to blend it out with. And we're just going in in tiny circles to blend out where the eye primer and the concealer meet. Next, I'm gonna use this shade out of the palette. I'm gonna put it more towards the outer corners of my eye and blend it more outward. I'm gonna take this darker shade, probably mix in with these two right here, and we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the other shade with those. And before I forget, we're gonna take a little bit of scotch tape. Yes, scotch tape. We're gonna place a little bit right at the edge. What this is gonna do is it's gonna stop me from blending all the way down and it's gonna give me a nice edge because I want a more lifted look. So now I'm gonna go in with an even darker shadow. We're gonna probably do these together. And I'm gonna take my Morphe M518 brush and we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the other shadows with this, but we're gonna focus more so tightly on the outer corner. I just like to pack it in first and then blend it out a little. We're not going all the way up because I wanna focus most of that color right here. See how we're looking like something? We're, we're looking like something now. So next I'm gonna use one of my favorite palettes. This is the Pat McGrath Celestial Odyssey palette. The colors are so rich. I love anything Pat. Now she's a pretty penny, don't get me wrong, but she's worth it. I'm gonna use this pretty, pretty, pretty orange shadow right here and I'm just gonna put it in the lid. The space is where we didn't put any of the other shadow at. And I'm just gonna blend it with my finger first. Pat it down. And then we'll go in with more detail blending with a brush later. See, look at that. She's cute. She's gorgeous. She's stunning. Oh, just for some added drama, we are going to use this little gold and we're going to put it at the inner corner of the eye. Pretty. I'm going to go back in with that Morphe 518 brush and we're going to blend out that orange to that dark shadow. Okay, she's cute, she's lifted, she's up, she's a little bit colorful, but we're gonna go the extra mile. We're gonna take the Anastasia water gel in the color Jet, and we're gonna create a sickening liner. And we're gonna take an angle brush like this to create that with. While that gel is still a little wet, I'm going to blend the edges out. Watch when I pull off this tape, watch, watch and learn. Boom. Boom. Now we gotta clean it up and stuff, but it's already a sharp line and everything is lifted up here. I'm just gonna take a little Neutrogena wipe and we're just gonna clean up the edges. Lifted. 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 <laughs> okay, so we're partially done with the eyes. We'll save the eyelashes for later. Let's focus on the skin. Hydration is key, hydration is life. Okay, thank you. First, we're gonna go in with the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum. We're gonna take a couple of pumps of that and we're just gonna put that around this. I like to put a little underneath the eye too. I have drier eyes underneath my eye. The rest of my skin is oily, which is really weird, but I like to focus a lot of hydration underneath the eye anyways, because I put powder underneath there to set my concealer. Next, we're gonna go in with the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Water Moisturizer. Now this is a lightweight moisturizer. It's really safe on the skin. It doesn't have any fragrances, any parabens, 
any um, added dyes. It's really, really hydrating and light to the face. Next, we're gonna go on with my tried and true primer. We're gonna go on with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And we're gonna put that right on top of that moisturizer. Now what this does is it adds a little bit of tackiness to the skin. So everything that we put on top can cling to it. Now, like I said previously, I'm more oily skin, but I get super oily around my nose area. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this MAC Studio Fix Primer. I'm just gonna put a little around the nose area and really around this crevice too. That's where I get most of my oil, right up in here. And right here along the mouth too. Just a little bit. A big part of me feminizing my face is color correction. And color correction is just canceling out what you don't wanna see. So as you can see, I have a little bit of a five o'clock shadow from where I shaved, where you see my beard right here. So we're gonna do color correcting to cancel that out. Most of this is gonna be like a bluish undertone and on the color wheel, orange cancels out blue. So I am just gonna put a flat concealer brush into this orange pigment, but I'm also gonna add it to this pigment right here. That's more so my skin tone. And like I said, we're just gonna go along this area right here. And then I have some hyperpigmentation right here. So we're gonna cancel that out. And then right here. And then more right there. And now I'm just gonna take a damp beauty blender to blend it out. I'm also gonna bring those two shades along my neck area because I have a little bit of darkness there too. So next what I'm gonna do is contour. For me, contouring is really important when it comes to feminizing my face because it kind of creates like a, a skeleton background of how everything is gonna lay. Like the contour for me is the bones of the skin and now it's going to like pop out and reinforce everything that you're gonna see. So I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Espresso. And what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hand just a little bit. Next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start at my earlobe and I am going to bring it down, but I'm not gonna go past my eye. So I'm actually gonna go this way, right there. So I'm going above where my beard started, that way so I can blend it upward so I can give more lift to my face. We're also gonna bring it a little down the nose and I'm gonna go underneath the nose. What I'm doing right now is I'm bringing this up and I'm bringing it in, up and in. Another step for me feminizing my face is, even though it's feminine, I still like a little bit of structure. So I'm gonna go underneath my jaw area, just so it can be a little bit more pronounced. Now I'm gonna blend that contour out with this It Cosmetic brush. It has a fat fluffy end and then a tiny fluffy end. I'm gonna blend upward and I start towards the back of my face. We don't want to blend it down because again, we don't want to create any beard areas. And I'm going to dust a little off my hand, a little product off, and I'm going to go in towards the front and blend that up. Let's take that line that we created on the side of our nose and we're going to blend that upward. Upward and then inward. Okay, so next we're going to blend that contour that we put down below our jaw. We're going to blend it down. So to do a little color correcting underneath the eye, we're gonna take the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spots in the shade Rich Warm 51. I'm just gonna take a dot and then I'm gonna blend it out with this brush that's on top of it. This is kind of like more of an eye cream and concealer, but I'm gonna use it as a little color correction before we go in with my main concealer. Cute. It just creates like a blank space. Now we're gonna go in with one of my best friends in the entire world. We're gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Maple. Look at this, one swipe. Look at that. Then we're gonna put it right here too. Placement of the concealer is really important. I'm putting more of the concealer up here because I'm gonna blend it out so I can go upward. I'm gonna put the concealer right here, not underneath my eye, and so I can blend it inward. I'm gonna take a little over that color correcting that we did, a little on the chin, a little right here. 
I'm placing most of my placement in the center of my face because that's why I want to keep the concealer. I'm just going to blend out with a sponge. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to bring it inward. And we're going to blend that outer concealer in first. And then we're going to blend the rest of it out. And you see how there's just a defined line right there? We're gonna take in that blending brush that we blend our contour with out and diffuse that with. And we're also gonna put a little right here by our forehead. All right, we're gonna go in with a cream bronzer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Chestnut. And we're just gonna take a little on that same fluffy blending brush that we blend our contour out with. We're gonna put a little of that bronzer right at the temple of our head and then a little bit where we put right on top of the contour to create more and more. Next, I'm gonna go in with my brightening concealer, which is the Juvia's Place Concealer and I'm in the shade 19. Now I'm just gonna use a little bit right here. Boop. Just right there. Don't use too much, just that amount. We're gonna blend it in with the sponge one more time. We're gonna take my favorite foundation from 2022. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Foundation and I'm in the shade 470. We're gonna take just a pump of this and we're gonna put it in those spaces where we didn't put foundation. So a little right there. I'm gonna take this blending brush by the Morphe and Ario Collection and this brush is A24. I'm just gonna blend that. You see how everything comes together? I know. And then a little down too. And then don't forget the ear. A lot of y'all forget the ear. Don't forget the ear. You get in between here too. I mean, look at that. And speaking of powder, we're gonna take one of my favorite powders of all time. This is the Charlotte Tillsbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Powder in the shade two medium. We're gonna take it with this dry triangle sponge and we're just gonna set it in all those places where we put the concealer at. Gorgeous. All right, to add some color and to blend in everything together, we're gonna take the Sephora Micro Smooth and the shade Toffee. This is what I like to call a filter in a compact. I'm gonna take it with this big fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend out everything. So next we're gonna do some cream blush. This is my favorite cream blush palette of all time. This is the Danessa Blush and Lip Palette. Look at this. It comes in another shade too, and I gotta get this one, but I love the rosy and pinkness of it. So we're gonna use a brush to put this on with. This is the Morphe R46 blush. We're gonna use these two colors. Yeah. I'm gonna put this more towards the back of my... Pigment, pigment. Again, we want everything lifted, so I'm just putting it right here. Now it's time for bronzer. We're gonna use my favorite bronzer, Makeup Revolution Splendor Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade medium. I don't even think they sell this in America anymore, which is so sad. So sad. And we're gonna take this angled elf brush. We're just gonna fluff that up. And then a little down below. And then I'm going to take this brush, this Morphe brush, E62 brush. We're gonna set that cream contour that we put on the nose previously. So for blush today, we're gonna take this new blush. This is by House Labs. Color. She's cute. She's real cute. This is in the shade Watermelon Bliss. We're gonna put that right on top of this cream blush. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yup. Yep, exactly. Exactly. That's what I told her. Exactly. Gorgeous. Stunning. Absolutely insane. Next, we're gonna go back in with a Laura Mercier powder. We're gonna take this triangle sponge once again, and we are going to bake. While that's baking at 425 Fahrenheit, we're gonna focus on the lips. Now the lips, one of the main important parts of feminizing my face. Why? Because I don't have a top lip. I like to overdraw my lip to create more pout, to create more mm, 
and it's just gonna look good. So I'm gonna take this Makeup Forever Artistry Pencil. This is in the color 608, which is Limitless Brown. I'm gonna start at the corner, and we're gonna lift it up as we get to the center. We're gonna fill it in slightly at the corners. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this liquid lipstick by MAC, it's called Lady Be Good, and I'm just gonna put that in the center. Okay, the lips are almost done, but we're gonna focus back to the face. I'm gonna take a Fenty Press Powder, it's in the shade 440. I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush, and we're gonna put it in the same area. That's gonna bring back some of that color, and then make everything super, super smooth again. Okay, we're gonna put more blush because why not? We're gonna do the Juvia's Place Volume 4 blush. Look at this, amazing. We're gonna put a darker pink right at the pocket of our cheek, and then we're gonna put that lighter pink right towards the apple. So next, we're gonna go back to the eyes. I'm gonna take this NYX eye pencil in the shade black, and I'm going to cover my waterline with it. And we're gonna stop towards the center. Next, we're gonna go in with this dark eyeshadow and we're gonna do our under eye with that. And we're doing it lightly too. We don't want a completely smoky eye. We just want some definition underneath our eyes. And now we're gonna focus on the lashes. A crucial part, important part, pivotal part, essential part. The best part, in my opinion. I'm gonna use these Lily lashes. I love these lashes because they are smaller towards the corner and then they flare out bigger towards the end to give that nice cat eye. This is the easiest way I know how to put on lashes. So I do a duo glue and I do the one with the wand on it and it's clear. I do the one with the wand because it's easier to apply and clear because it dries clear. I'm gonna put that along where I put my liner. I don't put it on the lash first because it takes longer to dry on the lash and it doesn't stick as much as it is to the skin. I let that get a little tacky. Not with the lash. I like to put it on my hands sometimes, so I'm gonna go do that. And then I don't put the end on my actual lash line. I put it more up. Now this is probably only gonna work if you do like a dark brown or black on the outer corner. But I do that because, again, lifts up the eyes. How gorgeous is that? How stunning is that? That is pretty. Okay, so some finishing touches. We're gonna do a little bit of mascara. This is from Tarte. This is called their Tardius. I like this for the bottom. And then we're gonna take a little bit of highlighter. We're gonna do the Fenty Diamond Bomb. Look at that. I'm just gonna drag it across. Look at that. Pretty and subtle too. And then I blend it in a little more with the sponge. Okay, we're gonna do some Morphe Continuous Setting Spray as our spray. Now we're gonna take the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Ice Lip Gloss, and we're just going to do one of those. Look at that, pretty. And I think we're done. Look at that. Scary. Ooh. Frightening. So if you can tell the difference, this side of my face looks a little bit more lifted, looks a little bit more rounded too, and it looks a little more soft. While this, my face goes more down and horizontal. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a like, subscribe to my page, and comment too. Tell me what was your favorite part of this video, what part had you a little bit scared, and what would you like to see next in the next video? My name is Ricky Ricardo. I love you all. See you later.